What's up guys? Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson we're going to be learning about the C sharp natural minor scale. Now in order to build a natural minor scale for any key, there are two methods that we can use. The first method has to do with making use of our knowledge of the relationship between major scales and natural minor scales. The second method has to do with using the formula. Now in this lesson, we're going to be using both methods to figure out the C sharp natural minor scale. So yeah, let's start. So using the first method, first of all, what we're going to do is to figure out the relative major scale that is related to the C sharp natural minor scale. Now, in order to figure out the relative major scale that is related to the C-sharp natural minor scale, what we have to do is to go up by three half steps from the key of C-sharp. So, one, two, three. So, we landed on the key of E. Therefore, this means that the E major scale is related to the C-sharp natural minor scale. See that? So what does this mean? Well, this means that the set of unique keys that are in the E major scale are the same set of unique keys that are in the C sharp natural minor scale. So in order to figure out the C sharp natural minor scale, all we have to do is just play the E major scale starting from the key of C sharp and finishing at the key of C sharp and that is going to be our C sharp natural minor scale so yeah let's do that so starting from the key of C sharp so we're going to play the E major scale starting from the key of C sharp and finishing at the key of C sharp so See that? So that is the C sharp natural minor scale. Now, the other method that we could have used to figure out the C sharp natural minor scale is by using the formula. Now, just to remind you, whenever you move from one key to the next key without, without skipping any key, then that means that you've moved by a half step. So for example, if I move from the key of C sharp to the key of D, this means that I've moved by a half step. So moving from one key to the next key without skipping any key is known as moving by a half step. Moving from one key to another key and skipping a key in between is known as moving by a whole step. So for example, if I move from the key of C sharp to the key of E flat, I've skipped the key of D in between. Therefore, this means that I've moved by a whole step. I'm just defining these terms because we're going to be using these terms in the formula. So yeah, let's start. So we want to construct the C sharp natural minor scale using the second method, which is by using the formula. So yeah, let's start. So starting from the key of C sharp, this is how the formula goes. So we're going to take a whole step and then a half step and then a whole step and then a whole step and then a half step and then a whole step, and then a whole step. See that? We got the same answer as we did using the first method. So yeah, that is the C sharp natural minor scale. Thank you for watching guys, and I will see you in the next lesson.